We have such a wonderful crowd here tonight. I'm so excited for us to be back. And um, today we are going to make a steak and we are also going to make a... I didn't think of a name for this. Um, it's going to be like a, an adult lemonade is what I like to refer to it as. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So let's dive right in. Tune in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Daily show, 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 daily show. Woo! We're back. <laughs> so today we are going to make a um a rum drink with some lemon. It's gonna be like a lemonade. I'm gonna toss some blueberries in to make it nice and pretty. And yeah. So I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna show you guys this first to begin with. So over here in this little pot. I took took some lemon zest and I just you know peeled it and put it in the water with water, sugar, a couple of springs of mint, and then I also took a half of a lemon. I don't know my finger there, but I took a half of a lemon. I threw that in there as well, and I just boiled it until the sugar was dissolved, and then I made like a lemon minty flavored simple syrup stuff. So we're gonna use that. If you smell it, it's gonna be really lemony and delicious. I'm just gonna see. If you every week we're gonna play a game of Can You See, and I don't think that every any week you're ever gonna be able to. I'll buy no cards. I'm just gonna see if you guys can see. Can you see now? But yeah, so that's what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna start by um, first and foremost, we're gonna take our shaker, and we are going to add some ice to it. And put it in the so. So anyways, ice at the bottom of our shaker, and then we're gonna do hit it with uh, one of these of the simple syrup that we made. I'm just gonna pour a little bit into here. I'm just try my hardest not to, you know, you can obviously strain it. I'm just being a lazy person, so I'm not doing that today. So there you go, and if you if you can't, again, I don't, again, oh God, every time. I know you guys can't see, I'm sorry. So we're gonna hit it with that, and it's gonna be kind of like yellowy. And it smells good already. And then we're gonna take some lemon juice and we're gonna squeeze some fresh lemon in there. A lot of lemon because so I'm probably gonna do like one and a half. Because it just recipe doesn't require any juice. So basically what we want to do is make kind of like a lemonade. Take the rest of this lemon that I have, and you know, room room here, and then sorry, that's kind of ugly. There you go. And then, you know, into my sugar mixture. I don't know if you guys need to see this, but I'll show it to you anyways. Boom, into our sugar mixture, and there's our rim. So we're gonna put this over here to the side, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some rum. And yeah, whatever you want because it doesn't matter. Boom. Whoop, there it is. And then because we're having a citrusy drink, I'm gonna add a little bit of triple sec, which is just like an orange liqueur. So, um, I actually don't know if the brand is called Triple Sec or if that's just what it's called. If the brand is called Triple Sec, then buy whatever brand you want. But if it's not, then, you know, buy Triple Sec. <laughs> I don't think so. I think the brand is whatever the thing at the top is. So, it's going to have a nice citrusy flavor. It's orangey and we're doing a citrusy drink here. So, it smells really good. And then, you know. Just gonna shake it. Ah, fuck. I just bang my finger on that. It really hurt. We're gonna shake it up here, and then we're gonna, um, we are going to start by, to make our drink pretty, because, you know, we can't have a drink if it's not gonna be pretty. So we're gonna put ice in the bottom of our glass, as much ice as you possibly can, because the more ice you have, the better. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna take some lemon slices, and I'm just gonna put them, I'm gonna try my hardest to put them on the outside of my glass, and we'll see how Yes. You know, if you're making this for other people, don't, it's a, it's a pandemic outside, don't use your fingers like I'm using them. I'm making this drink for me, so it doesn't matter. Use a spoon, which I have one right here, and you could use a spoon and just push it off to the side the best you can. I have some fresh blueberries that we're going to add to give it just a little bit of color and make it super pretty and bright. And vibrant because you know what no one wants to eat or drink anything that doesn't look absolutely delicious so I feel like that's one of the most important parts is to make sure that you get something that looks really good so we're gonna throw those in there dropped one we're gonna ignore that per usual 
And then there's that. And then now, we're going to take a drink of the sugar ready. And we are going to try our best to strain it the best we can. Oh, boom, I was worried it was going to be too short, but look, that was a perfect cocktail. And then, because we already used mint earlier, I have some fresh um, mint leaves that we're going to add to, like, the very top. And then, boom, look, and look how absolutely delicious that looks. The thing about me is that, unlike most people, I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I'm, like, super good at everything. Like, everything. Like, it's crazy. It's, like, just, like... Whew. Like, and then the whole thing about it is that, like, not only am I, like, amazing at everything, I would even go as far as saying, like, I wouldn't say I'm the best at everything, but I would say I'm, like, top five at literally everything in the entire world. And, um, the thing about it is that you would think that with so much amazingness, like, it would go to my head, but I'm literally so humble. Like, I would argue that I'm the most humble person on the entire earth. I'm the most humble person that has ever walked the earth. I'm more meek than meek Mill. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just... Like, at this point, Mother Teresa would look like a flashy whore if she stood next to me. Because I'm just, my spirit is just so down to earth. It is, my spirit is damn near planted. And it sprouts back up as the beautiful flower that I am. But just so humble, you know? I'm just like a dandelion on the side of the highway. That's 100% how I describe myself. And that's 100% how I want someone to describe me. doing here is that we're patting our steak dry with paper towel like this with paper towel because you want any of that moisture in the water to hit the pan when you put the steak in thank you so much For a medium rare steak, you are cooking your steak on each side for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. 
For a medium steak, you are cooking your steak on each side for 4 minutes and 30 seconds. For a medium well, you are doing 5 minutes and 30 seconds per side. And for a well done, you are doing 6 minutes and 30 seconds 